Hey folks, Captain Dave here, and I wanted to share something with you that I'm kind of excited about. My leaning post. The only piece of upholstery in this entire boat. And I went and got it reupholstered, and uh, they did a really great job down uh, downtown in Jacksonville. Sergeant's upholstery. They do everything, marine, auto, you name it, they do it. And I took my leaning post down there, and they did exactly what I wanted. Here it is. I wanted gray, black piping, black sides. And I mean, this is some seriously tough material. Um, and then I wanted a really firmer foam. It's not so squishy. I did black sides, gray on the top. That used to be white and it used to be all ripped up into pieces. You may have noticed it in some of the other videos. But um, it was all ripped up right here. So now I got this, and I'm very happy with it. Very happy. If you're in Jacksonville, and you need some upholstery work, and you need it done, I needed it done pretty fast. Because um, today is Saturday. I got a uh, charter on, on Monday, and I didn't want to uh, go out without this. And, you know, in the charter business, number one, you can't take your boat anywhere for more than a day or two. You can't plan on anything. So I just, I think it was like Tuesday, just ran down there and wanted to see if they could do it for me, and they, they did. You notice I stuck with kind of commercial colors here. You notice the deck is gray, this is gray, black, because my... Starboard trim is black. You know, with my type of boat, we don't get all glitzy, glamoury, you know. And then there's one other thing I want to show you, besides my new leaning post. It's a great boating product. So hang on a second, and I'm going to show you this next thing. This is an anchoring deal. Feed this through here. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, well, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I try to always use this over my anchor chain. All this is my anchor chain. I use 20 foot anchor, stainless steel. You know, that anchoring stuff that's so out of fashion. I mean, you know, if. If, if you're still anchoring, I guess you're just an old school fart, you know, um, you know, because nobody anchors anymore. All the cool guys use their trolling motors, because even if you have a trolling motor, that's all GPS controlled, you still need an anchor. Anchor is a safety device. Well, what this is, this is from Lone... Actually, uh, Hammer Marine, which is out in Texas, and this is a weave type deal. See, it's attached up here. There's my chain, and this is called a chain guard. All my chain fits in here, okay, 
And the funny thing about it is, is you just don't see anybody using it. Uh, this is an idea that comes out of Australia. Not that you have to get this stuff in Australia, but what it does is see how it, it kind of quiets down your chain. And I know you guys with your fancy gel coat boats, <laughs> uh, you may, you know, I was always thinking that you guys would be really interested in this. Here's what it looks like close up. And you run your chain through it, and it's quite a process to get your chain inside here. It really keeps everything quiet. It keeps it quiet on the roller up front. There's my roller underneath the anchor. And it's just when you use a lot of chain like I do, this is easy on the hands when you're pulling the chain into the boat. And then there's my end of my anchor with a big swivel on it. But basically this is a product from Lone, Lone Star. They make those drum or uh, drum anchor winches that go on the front that spool up your anchor onto a basically onto a spool or onto a drum. And they use this, they came out with this to make it nice and quiet when you're pulling your anchor in. But it just fell on the floor and just made a thump. Um, so this is just a cover and as you spool your your anchor in or you let it out it's running over the roller and it's staying nice and quiet. And I found it damn near addictive. But in the United States you get this stuff at Hammer Marine in Texas. And I'll put I'll put Sergeant's um, website or address in the video description and I'll put Hammer Marines page on their website where you can uh, check out the chain guard now unfortunately I mean it comes in what 25 20 40 50 something like that different rolls okay and I was told that they won't have a big, the big uh, assortment until after April. So um, right now, I got 20 foot of chain, so I bought two rolls of 25 feet. And there's videos of how to install this over your chain. And even if you're using six foot of chain, you know, I still see some of those guys with the fancy boats, those you know, those $150,000 Everglades and things like that, and they're dropping their anchor over the side, and that chain hits. Man, I'm telling you, if, if I had a boat that cost that much, my chain would never touch that gel coat. But this is a really cool product. It's, it's extensive to get it on here. It's a bit of a process and how to do it. But I've been using this now for at least a year. And the reason I had to buy more is because I ended up losing my whole entire anchor. And um, I think I had 30 feet. And I only had like 10 feet left. So I've been using just a 10-foot section on my anchor. And it got to be kind of a, a pain because half the anchor was covered with it and half the anchor chain wasn't covered with it. I wanted to re redo it, so I had um, a spare anchor here. I still got the old anchor in the garage, but I went ahead and, and put this and uh, this uh, chain guard on, and it's now from all the way to the end. There's the end, and what I do is you use you roll it at the end. I use some stainless steel like zip ties along with some just nylon zip ties and um, that keeps it that keeps it on I got the same thing going on at that end and it's like the tighter it pulls it's like a Chinese finger it, it gets real tight on your chain 
So it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so I thought I'd share that with you. Just ask me down in the comments if you want to know more about it. Um, we can discuss it, but the uh, Hammer Marine or Lone Star Marine, I guess what it would be called, um, Chain Guard. And it's not expensive. I mean, you know, 30, 40 bucks or whatever. Uh, the shipping is like 12 bucks or something. It's got to come from Texas. So between my new lean post, got my chain all good to go. Up in the bow. I'm just one happy camper now. So I just thought I'd show you that. And um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. Don't forget to look at the video description because that's where I'm going to put the uh, information for the two topics here. Good upholstery in Jacksonville. Chain guard from Texas. Thanks for watching.